I've got Brent Harvey with me right now in Las Vegas. He is holding the steering wheel that Simona De Sylvester will be uh, will be handling yeah. uh, shortly and and throughout the weekend. And uh, Brent, who goes by Woody, uh, is going to give us kind of the lowdown of, of what this is. This is not the typical steering wheel when most of us get in our cars that no, we see. Definitely not. There's a lot of a lot of buttons and functions that the driver has to control. Uh, right here we have the radio button. That's how she communicates to the pit or the spotter. She pushes that. Uh, if she gets thirsty in the race, she pushes this. It's a little motorized uh, pump in the car. Goes through a uh, silicone tube up into her helmet. Gives her a drink during the race. Uh, when they come in for the pit stops, they have to hold this button for three seconds and it resets the fuel counter on the dash, which she normally sees up here. So it'll count from 22 gallons down. And once it gets to below a certain number, then like you have these other little lights on here. So if it gets below two gallons, say this light will turn green and she'll know that her fuel's getting pretty low. So if we don't call her in within two or three laps, she needs to come in anyway. Now on down here is a page button. And what that does, there's three different display setups on the dash. There's a start page for the mechanics, and then there's a race and a practice page. So we can put up different information on, this, on the uh, screens for her to look at. If she's a particular RPM or speed, we can set up a lot of different information for her. And she can toggle through that. On the uh, right hand side is the push to pass or the boost button. So when they hit that, the driver gets, for this race, uh, there's 20 overtakes and each one's for 12 seconds each. So typically they'll push it going into three and try to carry that extra RPM in and then all the way around the front stretch or into one and all the way down the back stretch to try to make the pass. It gives them an extra 300 RPM. And then uh, the neutral button, they have to get, select that when they come into the pits to get the car into neutral. Uh, the pit speed limiter, when they're coming in pit lane, they're allowed to go 60 mile an hour, so they got to break down. They try to undershoot like 58, 59, hit that, and then accelerate back up, and it'll hold them to 60 while they're running into the pit lane, into the box, do the pit stop, and then leave. And it activates when it comes up to 60s again. Uh, the soft limiter, there's uh, 10 295, 10 290, and 10 285. So if we want to run closer to the soft limiter without hurting our speed, we try to bump that up to 10.295. Typical on the ovals, you want to be as close to the RPM limiter as you can, especially here with uh, in Vegas, it's warmer. So you want to be at the top. Like back in Kentucky, we wanted to be a lot lower because it's colder and the engine operates better at colder RPM. So you want to be lower with that. Uh, the uh, fuel knob switches. Uh, she has eight, there's eight, basically, there's eight, eight selections here. Uh, one is for 100% fuel when you're racing, and then they go to slot eight, which is the yellow fuel mileage mode when we're running around slow trying to conserve fuel. Uh, the other eight functions, two through six, are just ECM functions. If something happens with the motor, the engine guy will tell us to go to five, and maybe it'll bypass some faulty air that it's getting so it won't affect the performance of the car. And then on the back side, you have the upshift paddle. This is up, this is down. Uh, so when she leaves, you know, it goes up through the gears and then down through the gears. And they don't have to, when they go up through the gears, they don't have to lift. They can just keep the throttle flat out and then it'll just shift and the engine whips the throttle for them automatically. So it helps the acceleration of the car. And the bottom two paddles are the uh, weight jacker. There's a little sleeve on the right rear shock that extends and compresses. So during the, while the car runs, she can pull that and it'll extend it out and it'll make the car more neutral if she wants, or if she needs the, the car to be a bit tighter or have more understeer in it, then she'll pull the right one and it'll set the rear of the car down a little bit more and give her, give her more understeer, more rear grip. So that's basically the operations of the wheel. Uh, most drivers have different grips. You know, these are molded to her to fit her hands and that's the way she likes. So um, and that's basically it. Outstanding. Well, that's Woody and that is Simona's steering wheel.